Hey, it's Erin. Are you looking for some exercises to help tighten the inner thighs? If so, I've got a great video for you. Now, if you train at a gym, you've probably used the adductor or good curl machine as it's commonly called a lot. And that machine can be effective, but it may not be depending on your height and how you're structured. So if you're shorter or if you're taller, it may not be the best option for you. And this is simply because in any machine, you've got a fixed fulcrum. And if you don't fit that standardized height range, it is just not going to be optimal. So these exercises can be done pretty much anywhere, assuming you have a bench or a chair, maybe some light dumbbells is all you need. And with any muscle, I think it's important to train both compound movements and isolation movements. And this is what this is going to do. And one last thing before we get into the exercises, when I say tighten, I mean the goal is to gain muscle in that area, which can help smooth out and tighten the appearance of the skin. If your goal is to see more definition, or if you feel like you have a little bit of juiciness, is what I like to call it, and you want to lean down a little bit, it's important to get into a caloric deficit to lean down overall in hopes that you'll lean down in that area. So we can't spot reduce. I wish I had a magic wand. Uh, none of us do, but overall fat reduction is going to help in seeing results, but this can really improve that area. So without further ado, let's take a look at these, dare I say, fun exercises. <laughs> Our first exercise is a bench adductor lift. And the reason I love this exercise is of course it can be done anywhere, but you are getting in a side plank position and you're not only training your abs, but you're training adductors on both sides. So the leg that's on top should be the working leg, but your bottom leg is actually coming up to join that top leg. So you'll get into side plank position. You want to make sure that your upper arm is about perpendicular to the floor and that your body is in a straight line. You also want to make sure that foot on the top foot is right at the edge of the bench is going to give you that ability to get that full range of motion. So you want to start with your body on the floor and you're going to use your upper leg to lift your body into plank position. And once you're in plank position, you're going to use your lower leg and bring your lower leg up to meet your top leg. And you're just going to continue to do so until you reach the desired number of reps. I like to do as many reps as I can and I'll start with my weaker side and I let that side dictate the number of reps that I'm going to do on the stronger side. Now when you switch sides you just want to make sure you're performing that exercise exactly the same as you did on the other side. So same foot position really close to the edge of the bench, same arm position, you want to get your body into plank position as well. Next exercise is the lateral lunge or Cossack squat. Now, this is an excellent compound movement for hitting the adductors. Of course, it's going to hit other muscles as well, being a compound movement. Now, for this exercise, you want to start with your feet about one and a half to two times shoulder width. And what you're going to do is you are going to go to the side and you are going to perform a lateral lunge. And with this, knees are always going to follow the direction of the toes. So if your toe is pointing forward, you want to make sure your knee stays pointing forward, doesn't cave in. You can also point your toe out slightly if you want, and that knee is going to point out slightly. Now, as you get into your lateral lunge, you want to make sure that the leg that is straight, you're putting your weight through the heels, and you're going to push yourself up using the leg that is bent, you're going to get into a standing position, and then you're going to perform a lateral lunge on the other side as well. Just as with the first exercise, you want to make sure that you're performing this exactly the same from left to right. And if you don't want to go through the Cossack lunge where you are going from lateral lunge to lateral lunge, then feel free to do a lateral lunge by itself just on one side and then again on the other side and the goal here is to get that really good stretch on the leg that is straight 
and you're just going to move in a fluid motion to the other side. Next exercise is a plie sumo goblet squat. Now for this exercise, you wanna go really light because the idea here is that we want to maintain our weight through the ball of the foot. And with this, you want your toes pointing out slightly, knees are going to be pointing out, and you're going to hold the dumbbell in that goblet position. So the butt of the hand is going to be under the top part of the dumbbell, and it will rest lightly against your clavicle. You want your elbows to be underneath the weight as well. This is going to help support you, and your upper body is going to stay nice and tall. Keep your core tight, and what you're going to do is you are going to sink down into squat position. As you sink down into squat position, I want you to actively focus on pushing your knees out. And this is going to really engage those adductors. Once you get to that mid rep position, you can give just a slight pause and then you're going to come up. And of course, you're going to feel this in your quads and your glutes as well. You're going to stabilize quite a bit with your upper body, but you will feel it a lot in your adductors. This is an excellent move. Now, one thing, if you're struggling a little bit with balance, you can do just body weight and you can go ahead and hold on to something like hold on to a wall, for example, until you get a little bit more comfortable with this exercise. So what did you think of the three exercises? Are there any that you would like to add to this list? This is probably my top three as far as favorite exercises for really hitting those adductors. And it's just important to note that yes, you can isolate them with moves, with cables, with machines, with the bench adductor leg lift, but also think about incorporating your sumo stance, a lot of lateral work. This is going to also really hit those adductors. So you're gonna give it a one-two punch and it's gonna really help with strengthening adductors. And you'll find too that this is a relatively small muscle and when it's strengthened, it could have been the limiting factor in your squats or your deadlifts. And you'll find that by strengthening the adductors, your overall lifting strength is going to get better as well. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what you would like to see next. That's it for this time. Until next time, train smart and train hard, y'all.